Hello, today's video is on stock number 36688PS, uh, the small uh, adjustable mini benchtop power supply. It's a, a switch mode power supply, so it is nice and light. Uh, first thing is you notice the size, it's about uh, 4 and 5 eighths inches wide, uh, about 2 and a quarter inches tall, including the binding post. Let's get it lined up. It's about 5 and a half inches, including the binding posts. Uh, it is switch mode, so it is very light. Uh, I'll pop the cover off here at the end of the video. Uh, power cord AC coming in, two prong. Uh, let's see, you've got the adjustment pot. Turn it down. Uh, binding post, plus minus, on off switch. Uh, voltage display and amperage. Voltage is, as you can see, it is about 0.1 volt resolution. Amperage is uh, um, about 10 milliamps. I'll, uh, I'll hook up a little load here in a moment and give, let you look at it. It is voltage adjustment only. No amperage control. You can turn, turn it up to about a maximum of 15 volts and down to about 1.5 volt. Uh, let's see, uh, ventilation is these little slots across the bottom. Ones on the top are mainly decorative. Uh, that's kind of important with these guys is to make sure you don't block that ventilation. That is uh, two amps running. Uh, the current limit seems to be set about one and a half amps where it goes into a hiccup mode. I'll show you that here in a moment. So that there is no current adjustment, just voltage. And nice thing is, it's just, this is my nice little homemade dummy load. Has this the same spacing as a, a dual banana. Plug that in. As you see, it's about a half ohm load. As you turn it up, the current goes up. And two amps is what it's recommended for running, but like I said, that the, the hiccup mode is set at about one and a half, one point six amps. There we go. Yep, there we go. It uh, it'll it'll shut down zero voltage, zero amperage. Every few seconds, it will try to see if the uh, the overcurrent protection, overcurrent situation has been taken care of. But then it'll just automatically shut back down until it's until it's removed. So let me just turn that back down. As you can see, it's back to working. Like I say, it's recommended two amps for more of a continuous duty, and, and just uh, it's there just so if you have a, a quick motor load to get it started, it will uh, it allow you to get that going. But it does have an internal thermal shutoff, so if it gets overheated, it will just turn off until the 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 temperature cools down. Okay, that's the unit. Uh, let me go ahead and pop the cover and give you an idea what it looks like on the inside. Alright, here's the cover off. It's not plugged in for safety. Uh, you see it's just a little small switch mode power supply. Uh, there's a display, the binding post, the on off switch. There's the fuse. Pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, hope this answers some of your questions. Uh, if you have any more, let us know. And thank you for watching our video.